Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane's Academy of Statistics. In this video, we will see how to do Python scripting in Nine. Before you start with Python with Nine, ensure that your Nine detects your installation of Python. Hence, if you are using Anaconda installation, then go to File Preferences, and in Preferences, well. In the Nime option, you have Python over here. Well, you can you can ensure that Python has been configured very well. If you have Conda installation, then go to Conda preference page and ensure that that the path of your Conda is correctly specified here. In this video, I am going to take the example of Boston dataset. So as you see, first of all, to begin with, we need to read the CSV file. Of Boston housing. Done. Then I execute it in order to ensure that the file has been loaded in my time environment. Now, as we are going to try supervised learning option so let's do partitioning so hence i have done partitioning here now after we have done partitioning we need to configure accordingly hence execute this so the partition will take place now what we are going to do over here is to build the model not with the node of Nime but with Python script. Let's do that. So now I search for the word Python among the node repository, and over here we get several such scripts. Say, for example, we choose any script. Now, for any script, it will be having some input, some output. If we double click on it, we can understand what is expected. So what is expected from any script is the some input and some output. Some input table will be expected, some output table will be expected. Not might not be, this will be same always. Now, as this Python script is showing us some few more things that we can change our inputs. So if we want the input to be augmented so we want the uh, one more input table to be there and say suppose we want one more output table to be there some model to be there to be to be an output object we can keep it so we can customize any python script accordingly now i am going to demonstrate over here customized script already so we have over here two scripts two nodes rather i can say one is python learner and another one is python predictor now the python learner is supposed to have one input and the output will be an object which may be a pickled object there are two inputs expected for python predictor one is the pickled object may be and another may be some data hence now as with the learner as i had said in the earlier video that the learner plays a role of dot fit function and hence we are supposed to pass on the training data so the training data end will be joined to the python learner and if I double click on it, we get some data which is a default one. We need to understand over here that the data is the input data which happens to be some data frame. It is a data frame in fact. And the expected output is the output model. So we need to take care that the code snippet which we write accepts the data and it outputs some model object. 
now let's do away with this default code and let's replace this code with our code which is as per our requirement now as you see i have typed pandas spd and i am expected to write some output over here now mind it well that the data frame which is the input data frame has to be referenced with the word input underscore table only so hence we write this code notice that i have created a separate x object separate y object taking into consideration the input table in which medv con is contained then i have instantiated the random forest regressor you can opt for any other regressor or uh, model you want then I have, I have made sure that the model is dot fitted that is the model is built and after the model is built i am returning this model or i am referencing this model to output underscore model variable once the code is done we need to test the script by executing the script it's necessary that the execution successful status should be seen for the script once this is done we can click on ok button and hence the python learner script is ready now let's go to the python predictor as such so what we need to do with this first of all the output from this is model output from python learner is model and it has to be given to the python predictor let's double click on this to see the default python code we see a default python code in which we have got two inputs and one output two inputs seem to be one of them is, is the input model which we have already referenced another one is input table now this input table happens to be a test data set and the output table has to be the prediction so accordingly our code has to be customized let's do that before customizing the code make sure that the ends are joined so the output of the python learner has to be joined to the input as a model next thing the test set output which comes from the partitioning node has to be joined as the input to the python predictor now double click on this you see from the code that there is some processing in over here so this processing from line number or two to line number some 16 it seems that the predictions are getting calculated now once the predictions are getting calculated you will find that the code is making a copy of the input table so as a output input table whole is going to be passed as the output along with a newly added column newly created column named prediction so we need to accordingly take care of it so we are not going to pass just predictions we are going to pass the test data frame along with predictions hence let's do that as you can see the code over here that i first of all created one object which is x test which is to be passed to the predict function and also i've created the output table now output table i am appending with one more new column which is prediction you can opt for giving any name to it i have game given the name as prediction so to execute the script so the uh, execution is successful now let's click on ok button and hence it's all set now execute this and it will get executed without any error once this is executed we need to assess the model with numeric scorer as i have already said 
so I now join this output of the Python predictor to the numeric scorer specify the reference column and specify make sure that the correct predicted column is specified click on OK button you can opt for clicking on execute selected nodes and open first view so your view gets opened with all the evaluation metrics calculated thanks for watching this video i will be giving the python scripts of python learner and python predictor in a notepad file and the link of that notepad file will be given in the description box if you like this video do click the like button please and for latest updates from me do subscribe to my channel thank you